In this video I'm going to show you how to use Bokeh 2 Photoshop Action Ok, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this photo here uh, as an example for a demonstration and this is the effect that I'm going to create Ok, so as you can see what the action does, the action will create this uh, Bokeh effect Ok, and uh, the area that you have brushed will remain in focus and you can actually choose uh, the shape for this uh, Bokeh effect Ok, you can choose from uh, 5 different shapes and let me just show you a few more examples and so I can show you the shapes as well ok so from this photo I have brushed over there play the action ok this is what I got and this is the hexagonal shape this is the circle shape this is the heart shape this is the snowflake shape and this is the music note shape, ok? so let me just close this so uh, when you open up your photo there are a few things that you need to check to make sure that the action will run without any errors, ok? so the first thing is that your photo must be a background layer, ok? so if it's not, if it's something like this, ok? just go to the layer, new and choose background from layer, ok? so this step will make your photo a background layer also click on this little arrow here to get the drop down menu and here just go to panel options and make sure you got this option checked here add copy to copy layers and groups then go to the image mode and make sure that photo is RGB color mode 8 bit canon and check the image size uh, you should use at, uh, photos that are at least 1500 pixels wide or high ok and resolution can be between 72 and 300 pixels gonna click OK so now to load the action just go to the window actions and just click on this little arrow here load actions and just choose the action that can be downloaded ok so when you open the folder you'll find these five shapes and they'll probably make an update with more shapes ok so now just go to the layer new new layer and name it brush and it's very important to name all uh, uh, all letters must be lowercase, ok? so otherwise the action won't work, so just type the brush uh, lo all letters lowercase click ok and while this layer is selected just pick a brush tool uh, just gonna pick a soft brush, choose any color, color is not matter ok, so you can choose uh, any color just you can clearly see what you have brushed and just brush over the areas that you wish to remain uh, brush the area that you wish to remain in focus and what I like to do actually is when I am brushing over the edges that I want to have a sharp clearly visible edges uh, what I do I use smaller a uh, soft brush ok so uh, it has uh, it will be more precise like this ok because if you use larger brush like this you get a bigger this feather here ok so I'll just use something like this for the edges and then just brush with the larger one there, ok so you can just quickly brush right there and I have actually already done that before so just gonna open my PSD file brush, ok here it is so after you finish it brushing all you have to do is to just select the shape that you like and play the action, ok and the action will stop once with the pop-up window so just gonna play the action and uh, get back when the uh, first uh, window where the, the windows pop ups ok ok so the action has just stopped and here we got a message and it says in next pop up window choose pattern circle pattern 1 check scripted patterns option and choose random field script ok and it says click continue to proceed so, so just click continue ok and you should only have the uh, pattern set here and you just have to choose the custom pattern here, so I have used the circle um, uh, shape, so that's why in the message it says uh, choose the circle pattern one, ok, so if you have used the uh, heart pattern uh, the heart shape, ok, then uh, the message would say uh, just choose the heart pattern one, ok, so always choosing the, the pattern one, ok, so now it just depends the shape and uh, uh, you can just select the pattern, go to right click or rename pattern to see the name or also you can just, if 
you just move your cursor there, you should get the name written under there. Okay, so actually uh, that are these first shapes, uh, the first uh, patterns of uh, each shape. So just gonna select the circle pattern one. And here you should al uh, already have this checked like this, so mod normal, opacity 100 without this checked, and the rendering you should have feather 50 pixel radius and TLIs, and if you don't have this option checked, so just check it and choose the script a random fill. So, and after you click OK, the action will continue to work, so I'm just going to pause video here and I'm going to get back when the action is finished and then I'm going to go through all the layers to show you how can you customize the results, okay? Okay, so the action has just stopped, so first I will close the actions panel and the uh, first thing that you probably want to do is to quickly just cl collapse all these folders and how to quickly do that is to just, while uh, this group is selected, it will be automatically selected by the action so just hold Control alt buttons for PC or command option for Mac and just click on the little arrow here okay, so that we close down all the folders and let's see what we got here, so this is the brush layer, so if you wish to play the action again using a different shape, all you have to do is to delete uh, these two groups, okay? And you can play the action again with a different shape, okay? Uh, or also, if you wish to play the action again, you can play it with a different shape, uh, with the same shape, and uh, you're actually going to uh, get unique result, okay? So, because the action is made so every time you run the action, you get unique result, even if you use the same shape, okay? So, if you just remove these two groups, play the action again, with this shape you're actually going to get unique result, okay? So that's why you got this brush layer here. So I'm just going to turn it off now. Or also sometimes you just wish to uh, uh, only a little bit customize this brush area, so that's why you, uh, that's also great. So when you got these layers you don't have to make it again. And brush over some areas that you'll be already brushed. Uh, okay, so uh, these are the adjustments here, and this is the bokeh too, so this is actually the main effect, so if you're kept with these results, you can just save it up, okay? And if you're to customize the result, you should just turn off this layer here, because it's giving a sharpen to the parts, and if you just move some parts, something like this, you will get some uh, sharpened lines there, so you'll have to make it again, so I'm just gonna turn it off, okay? Or actually, I'm just gonna turn off the... Let's just turn off that layer, okay, so just turn it off like this. And we're going, to, uh, we're going to make it again at the end of the customization, okay. So, uh, what we got here are the background blur 1 and 2, so if you wish to lower the background blur, just turn off this layer, okay. And you can even remove the blur at all if you, uh, if you wish, okay, so just hide these layers. Or you can just turn on this layer, then click with the word opacity and drag it to the left side to lower the blur, or the right side to increase it. You can also click on this little arrow here and then change the blur. Uh, with this cursor here, okay, so, and then if you to add more blue, you just leave this layer also, and you can again play with its opacity. So, this is the background tint, and uh, what it does, uh, it will default have this black color, so it will just darken the background a little bit, so you, your effect will be uh, much better visible, and what you can do, you can double click on this color box, and you can choose any other color that you like, okay, and I'm just gonna leave it I'm just going to uh, leave it black and I'm just gonna turn off this layer to have a little bit less blur okay so and what you can also do is to change the opacity of this layer here okay so I'm just gonna leave it like this and what we got here are the background parts so they're actually the parts that are uh, behind your subject okay so when you remove your subject in some places you're gonna see them later uh, these parts will be visible so they are fully layered, so you can duplicate any of these layers, okay? So let's just turn off these layers so you better see. So these are the background parts. You can duplicate any of these layers to make them highlight more, okay? Or if you wish, you can move these layers as well with the Move tool. Duplicate them, remove them, rotate them, okay? And you get the all-around parts. These are the background parts that are placed all, all around uh, your photo, not only beside your subject as these ones here, okay? and they're layered as well, okay, and their opacity is 25, so you can increase it, make it more visible if you like, I'm just gonna leave them default, and then I'm going to use them right now, and you also got the layer mask here, you can just select the layer mask, pick a brush tool, and just brush with the black color, or the place where you wish to remove it, okay, the parts. 
so let's just get back these layers so these are the foreground parts okay and you will see that some of the layers are turned off okay there's some of the parts so uh, they are something like optional parts so if you wish you can just turn them on and see there how they look and if you like you can just leave them right there or you can hide them if you don't like them okay so you can check these layers as well and uh, they're actually more mostly more more blurred uh, parts than this one that you have uh, shown here okay that that are visible okay and what you can also do here so you can select any of these layers and you can just uh, go to using a lasso tool go to right click pre-transform and then you can uh, rotate these parts you can scale them okay you can just pick a move tool or just click and uh, you can move them around okay you, you can easily create more parts just duplicate this layer just press Control G or go right click duplicate layer and you can just get more bulky effects just in seconds okay what you can also do you can also just duplicate the layer and not move it anywhere okay you can just duplicate to increase the brightness and also you can simply hide any of these layers if you don't like it okay you can use the auto select option so just click on some of the parts that you wish to remove it will be automatic set over here so just make sure you got the layers option set here and you can then hide the layer or the remove it if you like okay you can edit the layer mask also and then brush with the black to remove it or with the white to get it back okay and uh, you also got this main layer mask here so after when you brush black or here you delete any of these uh foreground parts if you if you brush with the black okay so what are uh we got here we got a group a uh, small parts these are these small parts as you can see and they also have the layer mask and you can customize them on the same way as any of the, those parts and you actually got the small parts one and what you got here uh, are the more small parts if you wish to add them okay and they're just gonna add them right there you can play with their opacity the same with this layer so you can play with the opacities and you can add more parts if you like okay I'm just gonna add this one here and just gonna lay it like this okay this is the subject so this is actually uh, this is your subject and uh, you got the layer mask here so if you just brush with the black just gonna zoom in a little bit just pick a br uh, black color some soft brush just gonna resize it a little bit and just gonna brush over the places uh, where you would like to remove uh, where you would like to remove the your subject okay you can simply hide the subject, see where the effects looks great, and then just brush over there. Okay, so you can brush uh, anywhere you like. Just uh, and always you can use the white color to brush uh, to get back your subject. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush like this. okay so that is the bulky group so now let's go to the adjustments and uh, what we got here is the the overall brightness and uh, also I forgot to tell you uh, here what you got is your subject okay and uh, uh, what you got here is the subject sharpening so this layer is sharpening only your subject not the parts nothing in the background so you can just click here and drag it aside Okay, to control the sharpen. So just gonna use something like this. Okay, and this is the overall vibrance. So you can just double click there. You can change the vibrance of your photo. Okay, you can change the saturation. So let's just make some. Let's see which setting goes the best. Okay, so it depends what kind of the uh, effect you wish to create so just gonna use these settings here this is the overall brightness you can just double click over here and you can actually play with these three cursors there you can, you can increase the highlights with this one if you move it to the left okay just gonna leave them default and uh, this is the parse sharpening so 
this layer is giving uh, sharpening to the parts and what you have to do uh, uh, if you if you move any layers okay if you move any parts like this then, then you have to make this layer again okay because uh, if I just move it to there you will see those lines they're actually giving a sharpen to the parts so when you move the parts those lines will stay there and then the effect then you will have those lines okay so you will not have the proper sharpening so just gonna delete this layer and select this one here and all you need to do is you need to have these two layers hidden here okay so just make a new layer over here go to image apple image okay then go to filter you'll probably have the high pass here or if not just go to other high pass set radius to two pixels and change its uh, blending mode to linear light and then uh, just open the folder here and press control button for pc or command for mac and just click on this layer mask to make a selection and make sure you have reset the swatches you can just click over here to reset them and just click to add the layer mask and then while this layer mask is selected okay <coughs> excuse me so select the layer mask and just pr uh, go to uh, you can just go to image uh, adjustments and just choose invert okay so as you can see now uh, just get back this layer so when you turn it off and on you can see it's giving a sharpen to parts and you can control it opacity here okay amount of the sharpen so we're gonna use it like this and this is the overall contrast so you can turn it off if you like and then turn it on and then uh, add the contrast okay so it's gonna add a little bit of the contrast and this is the color options and this one is turned on by default and you got the 15 color options to choose from all you have to do is to just select the color option that you wish to try turn it on and see how it looks okay if you don't like simply hide try with another and what you can also do is you can combine a few of color options and that's what I'm going probably to do so just gonna use this one here and I'm just gonna lower its opacity a little bit something like this and I'm just gonna use this one as well and also gonna uh, going to lower the opacity okay just like this so I'm just gonna use this settings and uh, that's it actually okay so I hope you understood everything but if you still need any help or you got any questions uh, feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page thanks for watching